I keep getting gentle reminders of how psychotic I used to be, and honestly, I miss her. Remember, I used to open up every YouTube video with like, yo, you guys won't even believe it, I had the most traumatizing night ever, like my three boyfriends did this, and like, I scootered home last night at like 4 a.m., I almost got kidnapped by a leprechaun, like it was just so unhinged all the time. Like, I have my moments now, don't get me wrong, but I was just constantly unhinged, and I kind of miss her. I've been watching my old YouTube videos recently, not by choice, but like I leave my YouTube videos playing for Marty whenever I leave the house and then whenever I get home it's like a video from 2021 and like that's never good and then I get sucked in because she was entertaining as fuck like every time I come home now I end up sitting on the couch and watching like three of my old YouTube videos like Tara please people used to call me the train wreck that they can't look away from and I can't look away sometimes kind of got in my feels last night because Jordy was sending me old TikToks like old TikToks that me and him would make. And I was like, oh, I wanna channel her energy again. Like, why don't I have that same energy? But then I was like, no, Tara, people grow and change as they mature. So this is fine. What I do miss though, is how much I just didn't give a fuck. Like I would post whatever I want. I would say whatever I want. I didn't give a fuck. I miss that, because now I give a fuck. I was watching one of my old apology videos on TikTok yesterday, and I was just like, suck a dick and cry about it. Like, Tara. The other day while I was filming a TikTok, though, I did consciously make an effort to like not be as stiff, because I am so fucking stiff on TikTok nowadays, it's like not okay. I've just been so through it on TikTok, like more than most people, to the point where like, I am just so stiff as a board when I film TikToks now, and it's not, it's not cute. I need to like work on that because I used to just set up my phone and start screaming about something and I would just post about it without thinking. Now I'm like, how do I look? Hey, how are people going to perceive what I'm saying and like how I'm saying it? And I just overthink so bad when I used to not do that at all. Why am I standing in direct sunlight? Good morning. The wind knocked over my like giant floating chair the other day on my balcony and I have to try to fix it right now because when I'm filming, I need to roll Marty out on the balcony sometimes because I can't think straight when he's chirping in my ear, but I haven't been able to roll him outside because the chair is blocking the door. The wind has been so fucked, it knocked over this entire thing and smashed all of my potted plants. And I was just like, I'm gonna leave it, like I'm moving in a few months anyways, like I don't really wanna have to deal with this, but that bird needs to come out here sometimes so that mommy can like have a breather. So I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't think I could lift that. Just been doing a lot of Barry's boot camp, you know? Um, it's not even the right way, but I just needed it to get out of the way so that Marty can be rolled out here at my leisure. I'm so scared of this cushion. Oh my God. Like, look at all my shit on the ground. R.A.P. I'm literally not gonna touch this, like, ever. Do you guys know that matching set that I have in gray that I'm always talking about from Aloe? I got it in black and I fucking love it. It's just so cute and it's so soft and like, ugh. It's called the Soho Pullover. I promise I'll stop talking about it at some point, but like I cannot stress to you enough how cozy and cute this is. And it's not bulky. I'm not really into like bulky sweatsuits really or like bulky sweatshirts anymore. I like just like thin, but like warm, like soft, like, things so i have it in black and gray now and then i have the white top i need to get the matching pants for it too because i love a matching set there's nothing like a matching set it's so cute i'll link it down below for you i moved my floor mirror in my bedroom to the wall because i used to have it i used to have it against this window because i liked the lighting how it would come back like when i would take like mirror selfies i liked the lighting of it being in front of my window, but I like having my big open window without like a blockage in front of it. So my dad flew back to Rhode Island for two weeks to like visit family and visit friends. So I'm watching his apartment and like his cats for him. And usually I walk there in the morning to get my steps in, you know, but it's so fucking cold. I don't feel like it. I'm so sorry. I don't feel like it. it's so cold. So I'm driving there right now. It's literally right down the road. I need to tell you guys why I'm like so happy right now but it's like kind of fucked up. I don't know if I've talked to you guys about this, but I've always like compared myself to other people like pretty badly. But whenever I do, I will fixate on one person for like a very long time. So I won't be comparing myself left and right to like every girl I see, but I will choose one girl 
and just like fixate on her for years and compare myself to like her every move. Like I'm this girl's biggest fan at this point. I watch every single video she posts. I look at every single picture that she posts. Like I am on her account like every other day. It's so fucked up she posted. I forget what platform she posted this on, but she posted the other day and she was like, Ugh, I just like hate California. And I got so happy. I was like, okay, move. Like, I do not know this girl. Like, we have never met. I've never had a conversation with this girl. We don't follow each other. And I'm over here like, yeah, move. Like, it's so fucked up. But like, my fear is that I'm gonna run into her one day because she goes to like all the same places as me and she posts about it all the time. And I'm like, I can't run into this girl in person because that will ruin me. Not to sound dramatic, but I've been comparing myself to this one specific girl for literally, I think, two years now. And I'm so over it. And I'm just like, I feel like if I ran into her in person, like, that would destroy me. <laughs> so I have a really sick joy that she hates California. And I really hope she moves far, far away. Getting a bit of PTSD from this elevator. I was leaving my dad's apartment yesterday. And there was this dude in the elevator. I was like, how's your day? And he overshared. So then I overshared. And then he looked at me like I was a freak. He was just like, okay, we'll have a good one. I was like, you just overshared to me. Why can't I do the same? It was really bad. Hi, guys. I'm here. Hello. This is Sally. And this is George. I made a whole TikTok yesterday, like, uh, how to take care of my dad's apartment. And I, like, did the whole thing, but who knows when that will be posted because my TikTok is so fucked up right now. I posted this video about orgasms. It was for a brand deal. And ever since I posted that video, my account is so fucked up. I am so extremely shadow banned. I've never been this shadow banned in my life, so I just can't post. So I've just been, like, racking up videos. I have, like, ten videos in my drafts that I have to post, but I keep trying to post them and, like... It's just not working out. And I had this like TikTok rep that I got put in contact with like in the dog walking days. Like, I don't know when that was, like maybe a year and a half, two years ago. And she ghosted me. She completely ghosted me. She hasn't answered my emails in like months. She like doesn't care about me anymore. So whenever I like email her about a problem, she just doesn't answer. So I don't really know what to do. You guys want some breakfast? I have breakfast. Sally, when I was a child, maybe in like third or fourth grade, I had hermit crabs and one of them died and my dad like he dried it out and put it in this thing. I vividly remember him putting the dried out hermit crab in his little vase with all these shells and I've never like dug for it before and I'm not starting today, but I know it's in here somewhere. Or maybe it like disintegrated from the weight of all the rocks, I don't know. His body is in here somewhere. Look at how cute my dad's balcony is. Like, it's actually insane. Look how cute it is with all of his plants. I was watering his plants yesterday and I was just like, wow, this is the perfect spot to sip a martini. Should I sip a martini later? And then I was like, oh wait, I'm doing 75 hard. 75 hard has been insane, you guys. I've been killing it. I feel really good. I obviously have worked out every single day for today is day nine. Yeah, today is day nine. Only 66 more days to go. Jordy texted me last night. He was like, can we speed things up? I'm getting bored. One thing that I need to do though is I need to designate a rot day for myself. Like every once in a while, maybe like once every like week and a half or like once every two weeks, I need to like force myself to have a rot day because I would just do those when I was hungover in the past. And like, cause I, I cannot do anything when I'm hungover. So I would just like pull all the shades down, you know, smoke weed all day, like not, not do anything. But that is very hard for me to do when I'm able to do things. Like I can't just have a rot day when I'm like feeling fine. Like it, it stresses me out. Cause I think of all the things that I could be doing and all the work that I could be getting done. I could be at the gym, I could be doing this. And I just, it's very hard for me to like relax during the day. Um, but I need to. I can't go 75 days without a rot day. So I need to like figure that out. Maybe I'll have one tomorrow. I just don't know if I have it in me. Sally, please don't jump up on the railing. Mommy's gonna have a heart attack. I'm editing a TikTok, hanging out with the cats a little bit. I found that I love doing voiceovers. I love doing my TikTok voiceovers when I'm at my dad's house in the morning because the bird's not screaming in the background. It's just nice and peaceful and quiet here. So I'm gonna edit this TikTok really quick and make the voiceover. And then we're gonna go home and make breakfast because I'm starving. 
I'm starving. I made breakfast. I feel bad because I wanted to cook with you guys, but I was so hungry that I couldn't. I didn't have time. I'm sorry. And Colin was on break from work, so I talked to him while I made breakfast. I made my vegan eggs. I made these beyond spicy breakfast sausages and I made broccoli. I wanted to show you guys how I make my oatmeal because I've been like craving oatmeal every morning for the past few days. Um, and I wanted to show you guys how I make it because I make it so good, but I didn't want that today. I wanted savory food, so I'm just gonna tell you my secret. You need to mix. After you're done cooking your oatmeal, right? Your oatmeal is sitting there, it's ready for you. You need to mix in unsweetened plain yogurt, peanut butter, and vanilla extract in with your oats. It makes it so creamy and delicious. I like can't get oatmeal when I go out places for breakfast because nowhere mixes in like the plain yogurt. It just makes it so creamy. You need to try it. It's like unbelievable. Mm. You guys have no idea how much self-control it's taking me to not do this all morning. Mm. I'm like, bitch. I woke up at four in the morning. I wake up in the middle of the night every night and I always come into the kitchen, like have a bite of something whenever I wake up in the middle of the night. And I had a bite of this rocky road that I made at like four in the morning. And then I went back to sleep and I woke up this morning and there was like shit smeared all over my comforter. I was like, did Phoebe wipe her ass on my bed? Like, what is this? And then I looked in the mirror and there was chocolate all over my face. Oh my God. I took a big sloppy bite of this in the middle of the night. It was all over my face and I just went back to sleep. I didn't even realize. I've literally run out of all of my like summer Fridays butter bombs and obviously I can't get any more at Sephora because Sephora is currently being raided by 13 year olds. So they're just out of stock all the time. So I just got this lip mask in the mail and I'm so excited. It's from Alpine Beauty. It's the Willow and Sweet Agave Plumping Lip Mask, and I'm gonna try it. I love the packaging. It's so, like, girly and floral. It tastes very good. It tastes like something familiar, but I don't know what. It's very sweet. Okay, I'm going to the gym. I wanted to do a berries class, but the next one isn't until 12.30, and I don't feel like waiting around for two hours. So I'm just going to the gym here. I've always had a very good relationship with working out and like having a routine with it and like staying active and all of that. But I don't remember the last time I've worked out consecutively for nine days in a row because obviously I'm on day nine of 75 hard. So I've done like a hard workout every day for nine days in a row. And I don't think I've, I can't remember the last time I've done that. I feel like for the past four years, I average like five workouts a week, four to five, sometimes six but nine days in a row is crazy. I feel so good. I wish I was going to berries, but I don't want to wait for two hours, so that's fine. Um, I'm just going to do my little berry circuit down at the gym, and yeah. I'm wearing this top from Aritzia. It's the Sunday Best, like body con contouring short sleeve, and then my aloe shorts, and my Hoka sneakers. Oh my god, you guys, I need to show you something. So I used to strictly work out to big booty mixes. Like I would rip it to the gym and just like send some big booty mix in my headphones and go crazy. Like I would only listen to big booty mix 16 and 17 while I was running and it was crazy. But I recently discovered these like down under country mixes. If you like country music and you also like like mixes that you would like hear at a club, like EDM-y vibes, these are for you. They're called Down Under Country. I listen to them on SoundCloud. They're so good. My favorite is the Volume 5. These, these are so good. My favorite is the Volume 5, and I just listen to this at the gym now, and I love it so much. This is what me and my friends listen to in Nashville, and I used to only listen to it in Nashville, but now I listen to it every day. That's a big thing that I enjoy about going to like my own gym versus going to Barry's. Like at Barry's, they play Taylor Swift, and when I'm at my own gym, I can play whatever I want. Did you enjoy the awkward clips again that I took of myself at the gym? Yeah, that was just for you. I think that's my new thing, taking like really awkward clips of me working out at the gym. Hope you enjoy. Um, I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna have like an everything shower. I'm gonna wash my hair and everything. I need to get the hair Botox again because it definitely is wearing off. I posted a TikTok of that when I got it done, but basically my hair is very poofy and frizzy and curly. 
and I hate it. I like my hair to be very flat and straight and like silky, but it's just not like that. So I got this treatment. It's not keratin because I used to get keratin treatments when I was younger and it never worked on my hair. So I heard of this other treatment called like hair Botox and I got it done and it was so insane. I got it done maybe like four or five months ago and I could just like wash my hair and then like leave the house and just let it like air dry. And it would air dry like so just like flat and silky and like not frizzy. It was the best thing I've ever done, but it's kind of wearing off. So I kind of want to get it done again. Um, it just made my life so much easier because before I had that done, like washing my hair was just the biggest pain in the ass. Like it would have to be like a whole, especially when I had extensions, oh my God. But even without extensions, like I would have to, I would wash my hair and then I would have to sit here and wait for it to like kind of air dry just for like a little bit, like 20 minutes. And then I would have to blow dry it with like my blow drying brush and then straighten it immediately. And it would still be like puffy. And I would have to straighten it like every single day. It was awful and obviously very damaging. So um, the hair Botox really helped. Why am I kneeling on the floor? Also, I got this um, this sugar scrub for the shower because this one's really good. I used to I used to use this one. Um, I use the aloe one right now, as I talk about all the time. I use that like aloe body polish, but it's so expensive, and I'll go through the jar in like a week. And this one is like less than half of the price, and it's still really good. So I got this, and I'm only going to use the aloe one like sometimes because it's so expensive. Wait, my butt looks so good. Good for me. Good for me. Every time I say that my butt looks good, everyone's like, No, it doesn't. I'm like, okay, for me it does. I like to do random pregnancy tests sometimes. I keep a stash in my drawer, and then when the time comes, I'm like, you know what? It's time for a pregnancy test. I'm not pregnant. That was actually my last one. Now I have to go buy more pregnancy tests at some point, because sometimes I have freak outs for no reason, and I'll convince myself that I'm pregnant. Um, and so that's why I like to keep some in my drawer, but I ran out. I have to go get warm. I came to a compromise with myself. I realized that it's not, it's just not practical to tell myself that I'm gonna be able to give myself a rot day if I'm not sick or hungover. So I'm doing a half rot day right now. I just shut all of my shades. I'm lighting a candle. It's like noon. It's 12.30 and I'm fucking done for the day. I'm just gonna sit in the dark and like do mindless computer work and watch podcasts and YouTube videos. I'm gonna eat a little gummy. There we go. Sorry if I'm a little chill right now. I feel very chill. That's why I was like, wow, this is like the perfect day to do a half rot, shut the shades, not do anything. So I'm very chill right now, but I'm gonna do a little q and I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram story. Will you and Colin move in together in the future? So I don't wanna jinx anything, but he is moving in with me on July 1st with the company that he works for. It's possible for him to transfer from Illinois to Los Angeles. So he locked in a date the other day and he's starting here on July 1st. So we're thinking he's gonna move here on like June 22nd ish so that he can like, you know, settle in, move all of his stuff here and then start work on July 1st. But yeah, he's moving into my house with me and I'm so excited. I have never, obviously even thought about moving in with a guy, but like he's obviously so different. Like I've never felt this way about anyone and I am just so happy and I'm so excited to live with him. Sorry, I just changed cause I was sweating, but it's perfect with the job that he has because I still obviously need and crave my alone time to do my thing and to work and things like that. And he leaves for work at like 5 a.m. and he gets back at 3 p.m. So it's perfect because I have that big chunk of time to myself to do my own thing, to get my work done. And then I just check out and I clock out for the day when he gets home. And that's really nice because I feel like when I'm by myself, I think about work from the second I wake up to the second I go to sleep. But when I'm with him, because I've spent like extended amounts of time with him at Airbnbs in Illinois, I feel like with him, I get all my work done for the whole day until three when he gets home and then I just like clock out and I spend time with him and I don't think about work and it's so nice. So I'm really excited to live with my best friend and like I we talk about it just all day long. He's so excited, I'm so excited. 
I've never been so ready for something and it just feels so good because I just never mm, <laughs> I never thought I'd feel this way about somebody and it's really nice and it makes me really happy I'm not gonna get like all of like why am I crying like he makes me so happy and I'm so excited okay, why am I crying that's like embarrassing okay next question <laughs> I haven't told you guys that yet um yeah he's gonna help me with bills I'm so excited okay what's your workout routine you guys know my workout routine i'm like um i do the same workout every day i love barry's boot camp it changed my life i've started to do barry's boot camp just like at my own gym to like save a bit of money instead of like going to a workout class at barry's every single day and spending 35 dollars every single day so i basically do a running circuit on the treadmill for 12 minutes when i first get to the gym i walk for a minute I run on six for 40 seconds, I run on seven for 40 seconds, I run on eight on 40 seconds, walk for another minute, and then you repeat that that little thing until you hit 12 minutes, okay? Then I lift for like 20 minutes. I need to like learn new workouts because I'm such a creature of habit and I, I just, I'm not used to like lifting. I'm such a cardio girl, I've only ever like ran. So I'm trying to get into lifting more, so I need to like learn more workouts, but... I lift for 20 minutes and then I do that same running circuit again on the treadmill and then I'm done. So I either do that at the gym or I do a class at Barry's. That's my workout routine. And I usually work out like five times a week, but now that I'm doing 75 hard, I work out every day. So dream podcast or collaboration. I don't like doing collaborations. I used to try to like push myself to do them. Well, when I first moved to Los Angeles, I just try to like put myself out there and like collab with other influencers and go on podcasts and like just hang out with people and like film content with them like as much as i could but i just don't enjoy it i turn into a different person when i'm around people especially when i'm filming so and that's okay i've learned that it's not my thing once in a while i will do a podcast if i like get an opportunity and i really like it love that podcast i'm not gonna say no so i've done like two podcasts in the past year i think or like year and a half i've done two podcasts and that's it but yeah it's just not my thing i'd love to film by myself i love hanging out with people but not on camera it just it turns me into a different person i don't i don't like it i'm a lone vlogger so but if i wasn't that way i would love to be on the canceled podcast but at the same time like first of all i don't i would never be able to like keep up with them I'm good on podcasts that are super chill and that are just like more interview based and like, hey, like, what's up? Like chill podcasts. I don't think I'd be able to keep up with like the comedy, like quick witty humor podcast. I think I would like just not do well. Also, I don't like when they have guests. Like I am a canceled fan and I don't like when they have guests except for when it's like Trisha or like Trevi, then I don't mind. But I don't love the guest episodes so i wouldn't want to even like do that update on your house oh, i'm so excited okay so it's being renovated right now and there's they're gonna be done in like two months i believe it's completely gutted right now and i don't know when they're starting to like put things in i don't really understand the process but we're thinking they're gonna be done like late february early march so that's exciting I'm so excited to show you guys what it looks like. It's gonna be a fucking cunt. <laughs> Sorry. Help with long distance relationship. I don't know if I'm the perfect candidate for that because I have such a... Well, I'm gonna... First of all, I'm gonna say FaceTime is just so convenient. My mom tells me all the time, she's like, FaceTime is just such a good invention. She's like, back in the day, like, we only had like phone calls but if you tried to do a long distance phone call it would cost money so it was much more difficult to be long distance facetime is so important i would say just like facetime as much as possible but i'm not the best candidate to answer this question because i have such a lenient job where i can work from wherever i want so in the seven months that me and colin have known each other we have haven't went three weeks without seeing each other in person so i'm not the best to like answer this question what activity is a must for when i visit la oh my god um i would say I'd spend a lot of time in like malibu go on hikes in malibu 
drive up and down the PCH, go to like lunch or dinner on the PCH, like go to Moon Shadows or like or like Dukes for drinks. Just like I, I'd say, just like hang out in Malibu and like Santa Monica, Venice. Like it's such a good vibe over there. Drive around in the canyons, like the Topanga Canyons above the PCH. It's so fucking beautiful. It's such like a just peaceful vibey environment there's actually this really cute restaurant called saddle peak lodge in topanga like in the canyons it's a really cute like cabiny restaurant to like hang out at and like have drinks and have dinner favorite one direction album take me home what's your favorite book genre slash what's your favorite book i love mystery books and i love like dark romance books so for mystery um honestly I love Karen Slaughter. I know I cannot stop talking about her, but I'm really in a Karen Slaughter era right now. And I've read like 10 of her books. Pretty Girls is her best book. That is my favorite mystery book at the moment. And then for dark romance, I actually need to go to my bookshelf right now because there's this one author that's like so fucked up, but so good. Oh, Penelope Douglas. Yeah. Penelope Douglas, really fucked up romance books, but so good. I have to say, I read the whole after series by Anna Todd on Wattpad in when I was in like sixth grade or something and then I bought like the physical books and I reread it like two years ago that's just like my all-time favorite series it is so good I, I just I recommend I will always recommend that series top five favorite youtubers I love this question my top five youtubers are Maggie McDonald Emma McDonald Tana Mojo, Emma Chamberlain. I don't know who my fifth would be. Those are like the four that like I will watch every single video they put out, no matter what. I don't know what my fifth would be. Hold on. Because there's other people that I watch too. Oh, James Charles. I watch every single video that James puts out. Um, and I, there's other people that I watch like some videos on, but I don't watch. Like I'm not like a huge fan, but those are like my top five. I cannot recommend Maggie McDonald enough. Someone commented under my video last week and they were like, she should pay you for promoting her YouTube channel as much as you do. I love her. She's my best discovery of 2023. She makes me feel so motivated and inspired. And I just love listening to her talk. She makes me like want to be productive. If you had a vegan restaurant, what are two dishes you would have on the menu? So that's funny because I grew up in the restaurant business and so my dad bought our restaurant Pizzico in 2001 and I started working in it when I was 14 and I worked there until I was like until I started TikTok so I've always like been in and around the restaurant business and I'm I am in love with it I've wanted to open my own restaurant for a really long time not anytime soon but that is a huge goal of mine is to open a vegan Italian restaurant and the two dishes that I would have to have on the menu is a bolognese and a chicken parmesan. Those are my two favorites. What is your favorite thing about each pet? Oh, Marty is very loyal. I love that about him. He hates everybody but me. That's what I think got me interested in birds originally was like, I just think it's so cool how they just love their one human so much and they hate everyone else. I think that's, they're just so loyal. Whereas dogs, like they love everybody and like other pets that you could have, like don't care and they just like, love everyone that comes into the house whereas birds are just like no i fuck with my human and that's fucking it i think that's so cool and i love how loyal he is to me that little bird loves me more than the oxygen he breathes and i love that phoebe is my only girl in this house full of boys we stick together me and her she's my og she's my firstborn um she's the first pet that i ever had on my own i adopted her when she was 14 um like maybe two months after i moved out into my first apartment she is just the sweetest girl in the entire world and she's so like not her age which i love that girl is agile active she's just she's killing it for her age she's pushing 20 right now she's just so in love with me it's like the cutest thing me and her had a sleepover last night with no boys allowed in my bedroom i dragged a litter box into my bedroom and a water bowl and i locked me and her in my room and we had a little slumber party and she was so happy i loved every second of it she's so cuddly i love her so much um roger roger is just such a pushover that it makes me sad but like you'd think that he's like this badass like cat because he was a street cat and he has one eye and he has like giant muscles but i love how he just like looks so intimidating but he's such a little pushover and he's like the sweetest boy he lets the other cats push him around a lot which i don't like but he's just like the sweetest thing ever he wants my attention all the time he loves 
basking in the sun. He loves scratches. He loves having mother sun time. He is my baby. He is my second born. I love him. Venus is the neediest cat. All of my cats are very needy. Like I know a lot of cats are like very independent. I don't have any independent cats, but Venus in particular is very needy. He's up my ass all day long. He's actually sleeping in the office right now, which is funny because normally he's just attached to my hip all day long, but I love that. It's like cute. He follows me around like a little dog all day long. He's obsessed with me. He is so needy and like, but he's very dopey. Like he doesn't have many brain cells, but it's okay. Colson, on the other hand, is my punk, okay? As soon as I saw him at the shelter, I was like, that's my cat and his name is Colson Baker because he's such a little punk, but he's also the snuggliest cat. Out of all my cats, he's definitely like the cuddliest one. He sleeps with me like under the blankets. He sucks on my blanket, like on my chest and like needs me all night. He like nurses on the blankets and stuff. He's like such a little baby, but it's so cute. And he's very smart. And how did you get connected with We Are Verified? Did they approach you? I actually emailed We Are Verified. That's my agency. I emailed them when I first started TikTok and they, never answered they never answered me i never got a reply and then when i moved to la my instagram was hacked oh there you are come here hi baby when i moved to la my instagram was hacked and my friend sammy actually put me in contact with jordan so that's how i got connected with we are verified he got my instagram account back for me and then he was like we should work together i was like I'd love to. I actually emailed you and you never answered me. There's my baby. Do you ever miss your hair extensions and why did you stop getting them? Oh my god. Um, I do miss them sometimes. I was wearing clip-in hair extensions since sixth grade. Sixth grade because my hair, like I'm one of those people where my hair doesn't grow past this length, but I've always loved really long hair. So I started wearing clip-ins in sixth grade and then I started getting tape-ins when I was like 20 and then when I moved to LA I started getting like the keratin infused tipped hair extensions But I've always had extensions since a very young age So it's definitely weird for me to not have them anymore. They're just a lot of work like I was trying to simplify my life and So I was just like no more it took me about three hours three and a half hours to like wash my hair and style it when I had extensions and it just took so long to the point where I would never wash my hair. I would just like leave it for like a week and just put it in that, that high ponytail and just like let it sit there because like I didn't feel like washing it. And it was so heavy and my appointments to get them moved up every few months took 10 to 12 hours. And so I was just like, I I'm done. So I stopped getting them. I, the only thing I miss about them is my high ponytails because those were fucking slay. I do miss my high ponytails. But it's just, this is just so much easier. I love having my natural hair. I've been rid of extensions for like a year now, or maybe even over a year since I got them removed, and I couldn't be happier. Life without extensions is very peaceful. Do you ever think you'll stop doing YouTube? Honestly, no. I talk about this all the time. Even if I, because obviously there's going to be a point where I'm not doing TikTok anymore. I'm not doing like OnlyFans anymore. But I don't think I'm ever going to stop doing YouTube. I've never stopped loving YouTube. I've loved, I love making YouTube videos so much. It's, it's the most fulfilling thing that I do and it makes me so happy and I don't, I don't think that I would ever like stop doing it. Even if I have a completely different job in the future, I think I'm still going to be putting out weekly YouTube videos. So you're not getting rid of me. I'm probably going to be here for a very long time. Okay, honestly, that edible is starting to kick in and I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. Um, I'm gonna do some laundry that I have piling up in my room and I'm gonna unload the dishwasher. And then I just have like DMs from brands on like Shop My and like Instagram to reply to and I have a few texts from a manager that I have to reply to and just like little things like that. Oh, I did get myself on the Coconut Cult PR list and I'm so happy. I'm gonna try the flavors that they just sent me because they just sent a couple over. I sat on my couch the other day and just shot for the stars. I DM'd every brand that I've ever wanted to like receive PR from and just crossed my fingers and Coconut Call is one of the ones that answered and I was so excited they answered me within like five minutes. They sent over a chocolate mousse flavor and they sent this cinnamon churros for breakfast. 
flavor and I really want to try this. I've only ever tried their original flavor because I'm obsessed with it and I've never wanted to like branch out. So I'm really excited to try like a flavored one. Oh wow, that's so good. Oh, so this is a collab with Siete because they sent this over with all the yogurt, these Siete grain-free cinnamon chips. I'm definitely gonna eat these when I'm rotting on the couch in about an hour, all like gummied out. You're not supposed to double dip in these, but I, I'm so sorry, I have to. All right, fuck it, I'm gonna try this one too. This one's chocolate mousse. I don't think anything could top that one. That one was really good, but I wanna try this one too. That's a lot different than I was expecting. That literally tastes like chocolate mousse. That's really good. Oh my God. That cinnamon churros one though, mmm. Oh my God, I'm gonna eat so much like, I'm gonna eat so much food today, it's gonna be crazy. Rock day! I'm making Marty dinner right now and I just got a delivery and I was assuming it was my Postmates that I ordered, but it's flowers from Colin and I think, I think that this note has the question that I've been waiting for him to ask me. So we're gonna open this together. Look how cute these are. Oh my God, did he, did he pop the question? I've been hitting. I've been hitting. <laughs> he is. Oh my God. Wait, he's so like Shakespeare. It's so funny. He asked me to be his Valentine in a very Shakespeare-ass way. Yay. Oh my God, I have to call him. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. That's so fucked up. He asked me to be his Valentine then he doesn't answer my phone call. <gasps> you popped the question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been hinting around. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, I'm watching the prison confessions of Gypsy Rose. I'm on episode four. And I ordered Monty's. Because I can't cook on raw days. That's just not allowed. So I had to order Postmates. I was waiting for Crossroads to open because they close from three to five every day. And at like 3.02, I decided I was hungry. So I was like waiting for them to open. But then I was like, mm. I got tater tots with the house sauce. I don't know what the house sauce is, but. Mm. Mm. And then this is kind of scary, but I got Nashville hot chicken tenders. This is all vegan, by the way. Monty's is like a vegan burger joint. So Nashville hot chicken chicken tenders. I'm kind of scared. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's hot, but it's not like too bad. I remember my, my ex got a Nashville hot chicken sandwich from Monty's before, like a sandwich version, and it was so spicy that we couldn't eat it. Those aren't bad. And then I got a, just like a single cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow and I'm like doing something interesting because I'm literally just gonna be sitting here for the rest of the night. It's gonna be great. Good morning, it's the next day. My vape just spit up in my mouth. I need to vent about something before I tell you where we're going. I can't stand, like it frustrates me so much when the YouTubers that I love to watch, like they'll film like a 15 minute clip of them like getting ready to go somewhere, like going out to dinner or like going out with their friends or like going out for drinks. They'll like sit there in their bathroom and yap for 15 minutes while they're like getting ready. And then they'll show like a one second clip of like an oyster at dinner. And then it's like, good morning and it's the next day. I want you to take me on your night out. I want you to introduce me to your friends. I want you to drunk talk to the camera. Like I wanna be involved in this night out. Like that's the exciting part. I don't care about the two second clip of the dinner table. Like I want to like be involved in your night out. That just frustrates me so much. I'm like, no, no. Anyways, I'm going to Barry's boot camp right now for my workout class and I packed a bag because I'm going to the talks like right after. So I have to get ready and like clean up at Barry's. Sorry, my SD card ran out. But yeah, I'm going to the talks right afterwards. So I have to get ready like at Barry's and like clean up. I brought my slides and just like a change of clothes. So I don't have to wear my sweaty workout clothes to the talks. And then I just brought some like moisturizer. I brought my face wash, my deodorant, a hairbrush my perfume, some clips, my lip balm, just stuff to like freshen up. I always get so excited when I'm going to my berries classes that 
I get in the car like far too early. It's right down the road, basically. It's not right down the road. It's like a 15 minute drive and my class starts in an hour and I'm already in my car, I'm like ready to go. Okay, I'm like 45 minutes early to my massage, so I think I have time to get like a little snack somewhere. I know there's like an Alfred's down there. I could get like a bagel. I go to the Tox. It's like a lymphatic drainage massage. I'm getting the full body and facial massage today. I like them a lot. They're fun. There's one on Melrose Place, so that's the location that I go to. I'm gonna go see if they have any bagels left at Alfred's because that sounds like fun. Please subscribe and like this video or something.